Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with your Daily Business Boost video. And so today, I wanted to talk to you about what are your customers' wants? Do you actually know what they are? There are three things that I wanted to discuss. Number one, what your customers' wants are. Number two, what your customers' needs are. And number three, how do you go about making money with your customers' wants and needs, all right? so. Look at the beginning, I was a little bit confused uh, in terms of understanding the difference between a customer's want and a customer's need. But what it ultimately comes down to is a differentiation of what the customer is actually aware of. So when it comes to a customer's want, right, it's something as simple as, um, uh, how do I say, like, I'll go into the example that I actually know, okay, because I don't want to make shit up on the fly and it doesn't come out right, or I send you the wrong message. So. There's a, there's a very uh, famous marketer, right? He's made eight figures uh, in the dating niche, right? And he talks about um, customers' wants and customers' needs. So when it comes to a customer's want, it's obviously just something that they want, uh, whether it's good or bad or the most beneficial thing for their business, okay? Uh, sorry, for themselves. For example, when a customer wants, uh, where, where, uh, the, the dating side example, right? Sorry, I'm getting my words stuttered here. <clears throat> With a customer's want, when it came to the dating niche, right, most men thought that what they needed uh, were customer were pickup lines, and so what they were fishing for online was pickup lines. Okay, so that's what they wanted, but what they really needed, right, is uh, some personal development. Right, because that's what's actually going to reform them to be the kind of individual that they really wanted to be. Because majority of these guys, not all of them, but majority of the guys, um, I think the survey came back at like 80 to 90 percent, wanted to be in real relationships. They wanted to be in a deep and meaningful relationship, right? And so, pickup lines obviously weren't going to cut it. That that's going to get you an introduction. That's going to allow you to say hello. But beyond that, there's no real value in it. Yeah. But that's what they thought that they wanted, but what they really needed, right, which they were completely unaware of, is personal development. What we mean by that is that they needed to develop themselves to be more confident, right, to be able to communicate better, to be able to design, uh, to be able to make an outline of exactly what it is that they wanted in a woman that they thought that they wanted to have in their lives. Okay, so therein lies the difference between customers' wants and customers' needs. Now, point number three, how do you go about making money from understanding a customer's wants and a customer's needs? Now you know that there's a difference between the two, right? So, what, uh, the way you go about doing it, or the way that it was done in this particular example, is that the, the, the wants of the customer, meaning the pickup lines in this particular case, were given away for free as a lead magnet, right? It was used as, as, a, uh, as a lead optimization tool. So, what they would do, and they put together like a, a landing page, right? An opt-in page that was said, hey, look, get, get the 10 best pickup lines you'll, you'll ever find for picking up a girl at a club, or pick up a, a girl at a bar, or picking up a girl at a playground, right? Whatever the case may be, they broke it down, they sub-niched it, they micro-niched it so that they could speak to that particular customer and increase their chance of getting people to opt into the email list, right? So then what they did, so they're giving the way the, the customers want, they're giving it for free. So automatically, they're building the know, like, and trust factor that I talk about all the time, okay? Because without those three things, you know, building a customer list is gonna be very, very difficult online. People do have to know you, they have to like you, and they have to trust you. Chances are, without, one, without two of those three things, they're not gonna buy, okay? So, what they so what they did was is that they gave the the, the customers wants being the the uh, pickup lines they would give it to them for free yeah that would allow them to opt into the list and then on the email list they would they would educate them on things like etiquette uh, <clears throat> personal hygiene right the way to dress fitness and health self confidence right communication relationship building right all of these kinds of things that are all part of personal development right which is what they really actually needed but they first had to gain the know like and trust they first had to gain that and the way they did it is by giving the customers wants okay i'm going over this again and again because it's quite powerful because see once you do that once you build that know like and trust factor you can suggest anything you want and it'll actually get through whereas look at this let's put it this way Right, if, if someone came to your website and they said, hey look, uh, uh, sorry, they came to your store and they said, hey look, I want pickup lines because that's, that's what's gonna let me uh, get a chick in a bar, right? And then you go, hey, you know what, that's a great idea, but take, you need to take this $5,000 Tony Robbins course because you need to sort out your self-confidence, 
you, uh, you need to set out your, your self-esteem, you need to draw up like the ideal woman that you want in your life, you need to, that would actually drive someone away and it would completely mitigate the good that you're trying to do even though that's what they actually need. Yeah. So what you really want, and so it's a lot smarter to go, okay, cool, look, you want pickup lines? Great, here you go, take them. Take them for free, I don't want anything, right? If someone gave that to you, what you actually wanted for free, straight away, you've got a bias in your mind going, this person is pretty cool, you know, like they actually helped me without me having to pay anything, without really having to make any effort, like they're actually trying to help me, right? Which is why content marketing is so important. It automatically drives home that know, like, and trust factor, making a difference in someone's life without you even realizing that it's actually building an affinity. It's building a... Uh, I wish I could remember the word that Frank Kern used, but essentially you're building like a, a, an equity that you haven't yet cashed in, but you will cash in sooner or later, right? Because this sort of stuff compounds over time where you do a lot of good. Eventually it gets to a point where people want to work with you because you're so cool and you give away a lot of free value. Or people want to work with you because like you've proven through free methods like email marketing, live videos, uh, YouTube training videos, blog posts and stuff like that. You've proven that you know what you're talking about and that you actually give a damn about them. That is going to be the point, the key difference between you and every other person on the market out there. Okay, so understand once you figure out a customer's wants, that you need to give it to them. And once you figure out a customer's needs, you need to educate and inspire and motivate them to get to that point so that they're, well, they're willing to invest when the opportunity provides itself. All right, so that's how, you, that's how you define what a customer's want is, that's how you define what a customer's need is, that's how you go about making money from a customer's wants and needs. Three points covered. I know it's gonna make a hell of a difference for you. When I started out, it was really, really confusing. I didn't know what I, what I was getting into. I had no real idea of what it actually meant. I thought customers wants and needs were the same thing. They're actually not, okay? So I hope this video helped you out. I hope it makes some sort of sense. If it does, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions whatsoever, comment on this video. If you prefer to keep it private, go ahead and inbox me, man. I'm always here to help. All right, so thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I'll see you again in tomorrow's Business Boost. Take care, much love. I'll see you again then.